What's up, Chero fam? For today, we're going to Meow Wolf in Denver. This is pretty awesome so far. I've done a video about the Meow Wolf installation in Vegas, but this one's like a whole town and city. This is crazy. Look. Super random, this reminds me of the boss from Zelda Ocarina of Time in Jabu Jabu's belly. Looks so similar. Slide, 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 slide,
Meow Wolf Denver, the Convergence Station, was amazing and a perfect way to kick off this month. I'm living here in Denver for the month, going out, checking out every bar, restaurant, attraction, hike, anything I can find here that's going to be a fun activity to do. And I did the Meow Wolf before in Las Vegas. They have the Omega Mart there, and the Omega Mart was one of the craziest, most incredible things I've ever experienced, just the whole art installation as a whole. So when I came here, I'm like, wait, Meow Wolf also did something in Denver? I have to check it out. And as you can see from the footage, it was mind-blowing, to say the least. Now, when you get there, first off, I want to say as a side note, it is $15 for parking. I thought parking was going to be free, so I might as well say that on this video. And then, when it comes to the ticket price, it's $50 for a general admission. If you happen to live here in Colorado, and you have a Colorado ID, make sure you tell them that because it's only $35. As you saw from the footage, you get inside and there's this like lobby type area. Reminds me a bit of like a hotel lobby. There's also like a mini, mini restaurant, if I'd call it that inside. You can get some food, some drinks. There's also alcohol there in case you want to buy some. Huge side note though, if you're coming to Denver for the first time and you've never been in a high altitude climate, be careful with alcohol. One drink can easily feel like two or three. Just wanted to say that as a quick side note, but once you get past that lobby and get into the elevator and you get brought up, once you step outside that elevator, it is incredible. You could easily spend, and I'm not exaggerating, hours there. Now for this video, what I like to do is kind of scratch the surface, show you a bunch of cool shots, a bunch of really cool attractions, and I almost want to give you like a, a mini teaser for Meow Wolf Denver. It is incredibly impressive. The layout, the way they've structured everything, the phenomenal attention to detail, as you can imagine, looks way more incredible in person than on camera. There's just so many little things to look at and check out. When I was reading reviews about the Meow Wolf here before I went, people said on average they spend about three hours there. There's a bunch of secret doors, secret passageways, a bunch of unique little like side quests and side things you can do. There's so much to it that you could literally be there all day, start in the morning, get done at night, and still not see everything. I don't know how they make these installations. The one in Vegas was amazing i still remember the first time i went in it and i was like wait are they gonna do the same thing again and what's crazy about this one is it was pretty different than the vegas one however i actually felt that this one was bigger so if you've been to the vegas installation you know the omega mart is pretty massive with all these you know secret passageways and all these different ways to like get around and these amazing art installations and everything this one if i had to guess might be even like 1.5 maybe even twice as big that is just my personal perception but that just shows how big the installation was i showed you how the building looked outside and the building was huge so much to do there 100 percent worth the money what a great start to being here in denver 